Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the Anabishmark test comparison between the iQ9 device with the Snapdragon 888 Plus processor versus iPhone 12 with the Apple's A14 Bionic chipset. Let's see friends how much difference we can actually expect between these both phones we got in the Anabishmark test results and how much high temperatures the both phones will be resulting in while doing this benchmark test. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this exact video comparing both processors. So Snapdragon 888 Plus versus Apple's A14 Bionic chipset chipset so i can be back after some time friends just to check the temperatures so let me to start the test so right now the test has been started successfully between these both phones and during this process my room temperature is pretty high it's about 31.8 degrees celsius and i can be back after some time just to check the temperatures what's going on between these two smartphones right now as you can see friends the android benchmark personally is about 62 percentage now let's find out the temperatures what's going on between these both phones exactly iphone it's about 39.8 degrees celsius on the back set 41.6 42.2 so 42 is the highest temperature the phone did reach somewhere around here as you can see 42.6 right now my room temperature is 31 degrees celsius and let's check in the iq 9 device snapdragon 888 plus so 42 degrees is the highest not bad and back set 38 and 41 so friends both phones were able to maintain exactly same 42 degrees celsius like apple's a14 bionic chipset and the snapdragon 888 plus processor as well both are exactly same temperatures and i will be back after some time just to check the temperature again between this both phones so i'll be back after some time so finally as you can see friends we are reaching close to the end of the test results and now we'll try to check the temperatures between this both phones exactly so iphone 12 did reach about 39.4 degrees celsius regarding the temperatures and i'll try to check on the back side 40.2 degrees celsius on the back side so in all the score we got about uh, 6 lakhs 85 000 is the score in the iphone 12 and let's see in the iq9 how much it can actually get let's find out here in the iq9 device with the snapdragon 888 plus we'll try to check in this device so what is the difference between CPU and the GPU scores? So Snapdragon 888 Plus which got about 8 lakhs 49,000 so which is also really great I would say in the Snapdragon 888 Plus processor not bad and CPU scores 2 lakhs 14,000 and the 1 lakh 81,000 and regarding the scores you can see what's going on and GPU scores in case difference between these both phones exactly. So definitely the Snapdragon 888 Plus is slightly kind of powerful than the iPhone 12's A14 Bionic chipset. So in terms of the Android benchmark test. Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching and remaining test the iPhone 12 is pretty powerful like Geek Benchmark and Wildlife Test Comparison. This is pretty powerful than this one. Until instead of more updates and signing off and bye.